A Black Lives Matter activist shot and killed himself on the steps of the Ohio State House. Now, there are very few details as to why he did this. I don't know whether or not he was depressed prior to this happening or, or if he was suffering from depression for a long period of time prior to this happening. But uh, Marshawn McCarroll wrote a few messages on social media prior to taking his own life, again, on the Ohio State House or on the steps of the Ohio State House. He wrote the following on Facebook, my demons won today, I'm sorry, the activist posted on his Facebook page around 3 p.m. on Monday, that was just hours before his body was found near the state house. Uh, he also uh, founded a youth mentorship program, Pursuing Our Dreams, which launched Free, uh, Feed the Streets, a project to help Ohio's homeless. He attended the NAACP's Image Awards on Friday. Pursuing Our Dreams wrote on its Facebook page. So this is a guy who was very active, uh, not only with the black community, but with individuals that were disadvantaged. He wanted to help them out. On Twitter, um, he wrote, people who look like me are one breath away from being an Eric Garner. Obviously, Eric Garner was uh, the guy who was choked to death by the NYPD for selling loose cigarettes. Actually, at that time, he wasn't even selling loose cigarettes. He was actually breaking up a fight. But earlier he had sold loose cigarettes. Wow, what a crime. So he had to be choked to death. So obviously in this case, McCarroll was upset about that and, and many other police abuse cases. Uh, but upon reading of this, it, it seems fairly obvious, given the limited information we have, that he had some issues with some sort of depression, yeah. saying my demons won today and I'm sorry. Yeah. So I, I don't think these things are connected. I mean, he said... Um, that uh, before he left, he pissed on the state house. So yes, he's upset about the way uh, young black people are being treated uh, in this country. Uh, he's only 23 years old, but that's, there appears to be no indication that's why he took his life. And most of the time, people who take their lives are in a deep depression. Yes. And so yes, there could be triggers in the outside world, but they're either going in that direction or not going in that direction. It's not like some guy who was perfectly happy was like, man, I really hate how black people are being treated. I'm going to kill myself. Right. That's not how it works. Yeah. I just felt like it was important to, to mention him and, you know, what he had done in his life to help people that were disadvantaged. Yeah. So. No, it's, it's a, of course, it's a tragedy. Uh, and, and that's why we need to get better with uh, mental health in this country. Uh, and maybe there was a way that we could have helped him. And obviously, here's a kid who, who cared a lot.